How to deal with crowds and congestion is a huge challenge on the capital's busy tube network. This is rush hour in Victoria and an exercise in continual crowd control. Congestion, do not enter. While we're filming, a fire alert closes the Victoria line. Face to Vic gate line, can we control please? Control Vic gate line. In the control room, they can see overcrowding on the platforms. Weight sensors also tell them how busy the trains are that are due to arrive. So they initiate what's called CCEP, congestion control and emergency plan. Uh, there's minor delays on the Jubilee, Piccadilly and Victoria line, but we're also holding at South Ken. And that can be extremely frustrating for waiting commuters as gates are opened and closed to control the crowds. Yeah, just stand by for me, please. And that also includes keeping out camera crews and reporters. <laughs> they open and close gates all the time. So that shows you the pressure they're under and the congestion control coming into force yet again. But a new station design means there's now another trick they can use. They can send commuters the long way round. So there are now two different routes to the Victoria Line platforms here. Let's see what difference that makes to commuters. The new route means much more walking and brings you out at the furthest end of the platform. So the new route took three minutes, 20 seconds to get to the platform and they do it to ease the overcrowding. If we reroute customers and get them to walk down different routes, it gives us uh, more flexibility with regards to congestion control and also it spreads out customers as they're progressing through the station, keeps them moving into the direction that they want to go rather than just being held stationary outside of a station. So now let's see how long the old route takes. The more favoured route for commuters is much more direct. 1 minute 21 seconds, much, much quicker, but also much, much busier. And most of the time, passengers do what they're told. We find that the majority of our customers understand that there is a rationale and a reason why we're doing something. And whilst we can't always communicate that individually to each customer, they know that if we're, they're being re redirected down a different routeway, that it's for a reason. Even if it's going to take them longer? Even if it takes them longer. Many stations now use these longer routes. It's a longer walk, but tube bosses say it's for passenger safety. Tom Edwards, BBC London News.